We're, we're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.ramfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. 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 Él es mi fuente de inspiración y mayor motivación Él es tan real como el globo terráqueo Que gira despacio allá en el espacio Y no es imaginario que la ciencia respalda Pero mi Dios en sus manos lo carga Porque es tan difícil creer que Él resucitó Después de todos los milagros que la historia presenció Él está vivo y sigue activo Venció la muerte y nos facilitó el camino Su nombre es Cristo y la tumba está vacía, chequea la que está bien fría, se cumplió la profecía, el resucitó, oh oh, al tercer día su nombre es Cristo. Y la tumba está vacía, chequea la que está bien fría, se cumplió la profecía, el resucitó, oh oh, al tercer día. Él vino aquí para salvarte. Para explicarte que por medio de su poder podías curarte Que cada latigazo que le dieron fue importante Pa' perdonarte y liberarte Llevo los pecados del mundo en un día Fue brutal, violento, a sangre fría Yo pienso que él no se lo merecía Pero su amor por ti era más grande de lo que sentía Y allí se quedó tendido en aquella cruz Tomando el lugar que debiste haber tenido tú Cumplió su propósito y no se quitó Entregó su vida por la mía, la dio y allí murió Y en el infierno festejaron Porque al rey de los judíos supuestamente derrotaron Pero una cosa olvidaron Que él era el hijo de Dios y al tercer día la fiesta le aguaron Su nombre es Cristo y la tumba está vacía Chequea la que está bien fría Se cumplió la profecía, él resucitó oh, oh. Al tercer día su nombre es Cristo y la tumba está vacía Chequea la que está bien fría Se cumplió la profecía El resucitó oh, oh, al tercer día Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Rap Fest Radio, rapfestradio.com here live once again on a Monday night. Hope you're enjoying your Monday night. We are excited because we have a lot of good things going on today. Of course, we have our special guest, Abdiela, here in the building, hanging out with us tonight. And later on, we're going to be going over the name of the confirmed ministries for Rap Fest 2014 that's going down this summer, August 9th, in the Boogie Down Bronx. It's yep. going to be crazy. So we want to make sure you tune in. Hey, check it out. If you're listening, to us now you could tweet us at rap fest radio that's at rap fest radio hashtag rfr live oh you don't even need the hashtag just tweet us we'll check it out uh if you have any questions for our guests or you want to give a shout out whatever or you could text us to 805 rap fest that's 805-727-3378 send us a text give us a shout out we'd love to hear from you yeah that's right text it away uh 
Again, before we even get started, let me give a shout out to our sponsor. Shout out to Grateful Apparel, gratefulapparel.com. Make sure you go to that site. Like I say, just click one of everything, buy one every size, and give one away for everybody in your family. Some great stuff there. That's gratefulapparel.com. Shout out to Pure Stream TV that's providing this stream so that you get no commercials. All you get is us for a full hour. Also, shout out to holyculture.net that's been holding down our podcast for many years, as well as uh, who else? BXRecords.com in the Boogie Down Bronx that plays our show every Saturday and nice. Sunday at 11 o'clock. They play our show to the local community here. Well, they have an internet show as well. So we're, we're getting out there, man. Our, our job is to get the word out, and that's what we're that's doing. That's it. <laughs> I'm the is in the building, man. Yo, it's a Very pleasure. Oh, pleasure to see you, man. It's been a lot of years. It's been like ten years. <laughs> ten years, really? Oh, yeah. Well, the last time we saw each other was with Valeta, Valeta Patriarca, Jorge Valete, my, my man. And it wasn't the rap fest. It was a, a blessing. <laughs> All right. Well, we went to Channel 47. Oh, forget about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I still talk about that time we went to Channel 47 because I never forget you and Valete did the song. Uh huh. Channel Cargamo Metale. Soltero Metale. Right. Yeah. 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 And after you guys finish, the lady and the man the that we're lady. gonna do the next show, yeah, that they were all set up with their makeup and everything, and they uh, they called you and, and Valete they, over. It's like, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, that was Christian. Like they couldn't <laughs> believe it, like because it was it, it, it was and it is a taboo, you know. When you see guys rapping and the message is from the Lord, so it was like. And Valete had his big Bible. Yeah, big his afro. <laughs> that big afro and a big Bible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, so they were they were confused, but it was it was a, an awesome experience yeah, to unique. be able to minister. Yeah to the TV character. You know, they were going on the show next. I'm sure they messed up their, you messed up their show. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. That was awesome. Yeah. And, and, and because it was like four o'clock in the morning too. That yeah. was an early yeah. show. Wow. Yo, so um, introduce yourself, man. I'm just talking to you like everybody already I know, knows. I know, I know. Well, wow, go ahead. Well, my name is Abdiel, AKA the Minister of Rap. I'm from Puerto Rico. Right now, I'm living over here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. I came back because I was missing my daughters a lot. <laughs> they live in Newark. They're gonna be almost 15 years old. You know, my, my daughter Jamie and Genesis, that famous song that I used to sing to her that everybody knows Sana. about, Sana La Señor. And yes, we, we, we're back again. We're back in the business, the Lord business, hallelujah. And we're happy. We, we have a new album called Dynamics. And that's what we're doing. We're in tour, promotion, and sp word. spreading the Lord. Spreading the word of the Lord. Amen, amen. He's gonna pass me one of these albums. So I'm oh, gonna yeah. make sure people see what's going on here. Oh, Dunamis. Dunamis. Nice, nice. That means uh, power of God. That's the new album. God. Yeah, you can find it in all digital stores, iTunes, and all the stores. And it has ten songs on it. it so, so it's a full, it's a full project. It's not yeah. an EP or anything. It's a full project. Oh. It's in Spanish, Spanglish. We Spanglish, have both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have both. Well, more Spanish than English. We have reggaeton, hip hop, pop, everything in there. Let me let me ask you, man. Um. What's going on with reggaeton? Because you don't really hear people even say the word reggaeton anymore. Honestly, I don't know what, <laughs> what, what's going on, but I think it's that people don't understand yet about it's not it's not the music, it's the message. Right. So a lot of people, there's still a taboo everywhere here in Puerto Rico, and not everybody don't let you sing reggaeton in churches. No mm -hmm. more, you know. So that's why, like, no, no, nobody like mention it. Like, it's like, oh no, that's just for the that giant the yeah, for the big yeah, that's <laughs> devil stuff, you know. And that's sad because you know that's that's uh, the the instrument that I have to you know to reach the the youth, the youth, you know. So how do you how do you approach that? Like, if you know, if you came to me, like. Uh, by the way, Abdiel is going to be rapping at the Salem Coffee House in June, June June 14th. 14. So be looking out for that flyer and information. Make sure you come check them out at the Billy Down Bronx at Salem Coffee House. Yes. But for example, the Salem Coffee House, right? Uh, my brother Mike says, yo, we need a rapper. I said, okay, I have Abdiel. Let's make believe. I would have told Mike, oh, I got this guy, Abdiel, he does it at Getone. He said, oh, no, not at Getone. <laughs> what do you do at that point? Well... I, I try I try to explain them like it's not the music like you need to hear you need to hear the message so when, when I have you know when I have those kind of people I have to send them I have to send the uh, music they have to right. hear it first okay you know they, they will say okay well you send it to me first I check it out and then I call you that's what they say you I know? call you next year <laughs> but yeah it happens it happens sometimes they don't call you and sometimes they say wow you know and that's what I like when they say wow because they see the power of God there is in, in those you know the, the mm -hmm. lyrics and stuff so that, that's I, I'm, I'm very proud of that uh, talent that God has given me and glory to him. Amen. Yeah, I mean, when we first heard your music years ago, uh, we were impressed. You know, it was good quality. 
naturally that song "Sana La Señor" mm -hmm. was real. It's you guys got to check it out. It's on the other project, right? Uh, yeah, it's in uh, the, the, the El Alfarero. In English, the, the Porter guy. But you can check it out on YouTube. You go to YouTube, you write "Sana La Señor," yeah. uh, Abdel, you'll find it. Don't do that now. Finish, <laughs> Later watch, finish watching the show. Uh, but the "Sana La Señor" song is a real heartfelt story about your daughter. You know, definitely. I mean, share a little it's, bit about it. It's that. a very different song because the first, the first version that I did, that it was a reggaeton version, um, it kind of shocked people because it was reggaeton and it was with a healing message. It was all about healing. It wasn't a party so song. It is so weird hearing like a reggaeton beat and some guy rapping about, "I want you, Lord, to heal my daughter." You know. <laughs> so, so uh, some people, um, you don't know that one of my daughters I had twins. One of them is autistic, and that's why I did that song, "Santa La Señor." It's, it's like a praying, a prayer, saying, "God, please heal my daughter." Like, like how, the way you did, you know, in the times like when you heal the people. So, it is, it is, it is a very special song for me, and. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it was a, a great song, and I remember sitting down listening to it and be like, "Wow, it's so you're so real, so transparent in this." Mm -hmm. You know, because like you say, like it's a reggaeton. Like you want people to see, like, "Yo, yeah, here we go." Levant you're expecting Mano, something party, else. party, whatever. You're expecting something else when you hear that beat. You, you're expecting nothing like, like he'll, go, you know, he'll hear the whole Lord, or you know, come back to Christ, or Jesus is alive. You, you don't expect none of that. You expect right. something else, like everybody, jump <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, Waste of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, so you were in Puerto Rico for for like the last four years. Yeah, right. I was like four years over there. Um, my daughter, um, my wife is in Puerto Rico right now. I know you're watching. Everybody's watching in the house. My mother, my grandma. Everybody's my around the computer. Yeah, todos están en casa. Saludos allá Puerto Rico. Yeah, I was over there. I was um, working as a graphic artist, but I was praying to the Lord because I want to. I want to come back to to the states. Um, not only for my daughters, it's because my ministry it was way different over mm -hmm. here. And I'm telling you, I, I got here um, Viernes Santo, Holy Friday, right? And has been something incredible, like. The people calling, uh, the places I've been go, um, going singing is is so different. I'm so I feel so blessed right now. That's good. And you were doing. It's, not, it's funny you used to say that, but the gospel in Puerto Rico is so much different than mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You know, el ambiente. Yes. And the acceptance of Definitely. of of rap and even even a lot of other music, and and it's a shame because. Puerto Rico is losing their youth. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because of the, the, the way the churches have been man law created. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you you being in Puerto Rico for you know, recently, what would you say would would have to be done to break that? Wow. Mm. Is we we need more acceptance just you know, when a, a new guy or a new girl come to church, you cannot try to change it that fast because they're new. And I think that's the main thing, like, they, they need to accept everything the way they come. You know, when, 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 when in the time of Jesus, when, when people was following him, he said, just follow me, you know, and he preached to them. He, he, don't, he don't care what they have, how they were dressed or how was their haircut, you know. Right, right, like, right. I think that's, that's the way it should be. Like, just we need more acceptance. Like, just let them come. And then God will change them, you know? Right. And I think, I mean, what you said, and I agree, you know, we try to change them as soon as they come. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem because we try to change them. We, exactly. The ones that can change them is God. That's it. Exactly. All we could do is invite them, mm -hmm. bring them, show them love the exactly. same way we were shown love. Because I'm sure, I mean, it's, it's sad to think that, that people are still with that old mentality. Yeah. It's but sad, it, it's but sad. it happens. It happens. It happens. Just, you know, I guess that's the message. If you if you're out there and you find yourself in a position where you're not accepted, just look for another place if mm -hmm. you have to that they're accepted. But don't exactly. don't hate God because man doesn't do something right. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not God's fault. But um, but it, I guess that's a going problem in or, or everywhere situation everywhere. in Puerto yeah, Rico. It's but everywhere. it's everywhere. It's everywhere. You know, there's still a lot of places where people are just not accepted. Yeah. And it's so weird because. Reggaeton is really like from Puerto Rico and Santo yeah. Domingo. It's from out there. Yeah. You know, so you would think, wow, they're doing this for the Lord. You know, let's bring them in. We'll exactly. Get is, it, is, it, is there a problem also with la salsa y el merengue bringing it into the churches? Well, no. Because culturalmente la música es igual. Yeah. Culturally, you know, that's the music. So why would the salsa and the merengue be accepted in a church where that music is 
has the same effect in the world that's right yeah us. yeah de definitely right now all the videos that you see they have the same thing you know you have almost naked women and all mm. that stuff so i think that those kind of videos that are being like so rated r i would say that's why it's like um, we have those, those problems right now because when they hear the music, they think of those videos. They say, no, we cannot play right, that right, in church right. because you know what they do in those videos, in the videos. So right, right. you know. It's but that's what Emma, and what she's saying is, is is funny because if you go to a church and there's a Christian salsa band, nobody's complaining. Exactly. You know, Nobody. Right? it's salsa. <laughs> it's salsa. But you know, and to the younger people, if it's reggaeton, you're like, you wouldn't complain. It's like, hey, it's reggaeton. That's what I know. Yeah. Or it's hip hop. I mean, it happens here in New York. You know, we had an issue long time ago. We had we used to have that issue where you used to bring hip hop to the church, and people were like, you're crazy. You can't do that. Now at least it's a little more accepted. Mm -hmm. There's still some people that you know, you're like, ah, uh, you know, you're a little too much out there. Mm -hmm. But um. But that's cool. So now, four years in Puerto Rico, you're doing ministry and stuff out there as well. You're yes. busy. This album, did you because you just got here recently, so all of this stuff was recorded in I Puerto recorded Rico? in Puerto Rico in 500 G's. That's my studio in my house. I did it before before I came. Um, it was like, I was like waiting to record this album. Like, I, 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 was, I, I, didn't, I wasn't feeling it yet. It was like mm. four years I didn't record this album. When, I, when, when God told me to move, I was like, I'm going to do it now. So, be, like... Two weeks before I came here, I started recording the album. So, I mean, this is so fresh that you never know. <laughs> Two weeks. I was One week was writing, and the next week was uh, producing the, the beats and stuff like that with, with other friends from other countries like um, Venezuela and other people that helped me in the in the album. And it came out a blessing. Like, I, I'm telling you, it's one, of, it's one of my best albums that I have made. Who were some of the producers guys that you used here? Well, it was DJ um, CO Productions that's from Venezuela, um, Ecclesiastico that's from Puerto Rico, my friend. And WC, um, I work in the, there a few tracks too, and it came out real nice, man. Real nice. nice. Thanks to the Lord. Yeah, that, I mean, there's a big Christian hip hop movement in a lot of the different countries: mm -hmm. Venezuela, mm -hmm. Colombia, yeah, Spain. And they're good. Uh, and they're really, really they're good. They're really good. <laughs> they're really good. I've recently been talking a lot with with a guy from Venezuela, uh, Matematico. He's a producer. Mm -hmm amazing dude oh my <laughs> god amazing kid is young but he has such a heart to do this music and there's another a whole big movement out there called god in the streets it's almost like god belongs in my uh -huh, city uh -huh. and rap fest combined they close out like the whole and they just wow. do christian concerts That's all nice. hip-hop break dance graffiti the whole thing and i'm like Really, like in Peru and in Chile, Peru, they go yeah, everywhere. They, yeah. they take it to the different places. But there's a big movement out there. So, I mean, there's definitely a need, yeah. you know, for this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, compare this this new project to your old stuff. Like, what's different? I don't, well, I think I'm more maduro, mature. Mature. Mature, writing music and singing music. And the message is more deep, more nice. Um, Que se entiende más, it's more, more clear. The clear, right? Yeah. yeah, because sometimes you start rapping so fast that people don't even understand you. And, you know, <laughs> right, and yeah, that yeah. happens a lot inside the church and inside the concerts. The echo. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You don't know why they're singing. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Like, you, you don't know what they're saying. Like, you don't know what they're saying. That, that's right, the right. truth. So it's true. That, it's true. I, I try to to make um, every song like the more clear as possible and very easy to understand to the kids. Because this is from the kids to the youth, you know. Right, you know, right, right. We need to reach the kids first, you know, because right. they don't have the one growing, you know. Get them before they get lost. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably easier to get them before they get lost than trying to win them back. Yeah. Because they got so much stuff going on in their mind, and you it's know, because your daughter is what, six, fifteen years old. Fifteen years old. Yeah, that's a tough age. Definitely. Yeah. That's a tough age. So you know, you can relate to the struggle of a Definitely. parent of a teenager, yeah. and it's right in the middle. At fifteen, they're already too old. Mm -hmm. You know, too old for some stuff, but yeah. not old enough for other things you know so that that's a really tough age man i always well, say that the this kind of music is like a hook it's mm -hmm. like a hook to, to those kids that are outside just hearing we sing and tell daddy yankee mm -hmm. because when, when they hear the beat they're gonna they're gonna look but right right when they get that message they're gonna say what right <laughs> and then just be, just because because we uh they say they say like the Americans are no, noisy uh como uh, presentado, well, right? yeah like you want to know so they start like hearing and and that word is going you know it's, it's going going in going in and that's what we want that's awesome that's awesome yeah we're excited man again do not miss do not miss do not miss me uh, the gravity defying gravity defying gravity, defying gravity. <laughs>
Dunamis, Dunamis, Dunamis. Uh, ten tracks on. It's available on iTunes. It's a great. It's a great artwork. You did the artwork on yeah, this. Yeah, I did it. Chacho, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah some, some good artwork on there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into this video that you sent me to El play. El Farero, the El Farero, mm -hmm. the Potter, the Potter. Um, tell us a little bit about this track. Okay, um, this video is is about a guy that is looking for somebody to fix his his pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pot, that's right? right. His pot. His pot, and he's looking for so many places, and he never find the right place. Like mm -hmm. maybe he's looking in the wrong place, or maybe he's he 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 don't, he don't, he don't know where to go. So you're gonna see this guy just walking the street, just to, uh, asking to people where is the the party guy because he need this this thing to fix, but. The place that he find it, he was expected expected to find. Mm. It. So I don't want to tell you, but at the end of the video, you will find where he find the the pottery guy. <laughs> All right, check it out, man. This video here called El Alfarero. When we come back, we're gonna go over the list of the confirmed artists for Rap Fest 2014 right here on Rap Fest Radio. Yeah. <laughs> this video is El Alfarero by Abdiele here on Rap Fest Radio, RapFestRadio.com. We'll be right back. Check it. Amen. Sí, perdona que te moleste. Es que ando buscando al alfarero. Que se me rompió mi vasija y necesito que la arregle y que la haga de nuevo. ¿Sabes dónde puedo encontrarlo? El alfarero, mi vacía está rota, tiene un agujero, cuando yo la lleno siempre se vacía, por ese agujero se escapa la vida mía, tengo que encontrarlo aunque sé que no es humano, lo imposible es posible cuando lo pongo en sus manos, si alguien lo conoce díganme dónde lo encuentro, pues se escuchan rumores de que el alfarero ha muerto. Yo sé que él vive, tengo el presentimiento Aunque la última vez que lo vieron fue hace tiempo Él tiene historia, te aparece un cuento Hay un libro que dice que se levantó de entre los muertos Seguiré buscándolo, tengo que dar con él Su madre era María, su padre era José Yo soy el hijo de Panchi, me conocen por Adiel Si alguien lo ve, por favor avísenle Toma mi mano, toma mi mano, toma mi vida Toma mi vida y es la de nuevo Me escondí en el desespero a otro cuarto me moví y frente al espejo fue que lo vi sí era él estaba allí por eso por el mundo no lo conseguí estaba tan cerca dentro de mí y frente a mi reflejo lo reconocí le entregué mi vacía que estaba agujerada estillada y esperanzas nadie daba él con amor riendo me miraba y con sus manos nuevamente la moldeaba le entregué mi vasija que estaba agujerada, estillada y esperanzas nadie daba. Él con amor riendo me miraba y con sus manos nuevamente la moldeaba. Él tomó mi vida y la dejó transformada. Lo encontré cuando menos esperaba. El alfarero es Cristo y la vasija agujerada era yo, por eso lo buscaba. Toma mi mano, toma mi mano, toma mi vida, toma mi vida y es la de nuevo.
Yo, yo, welcome back to Rap Fest Radio, rapfestradio.com. That was El Alfarero by Abdiela. You can check that out on YouTube as well. Yes. And make sure you follow him on Twitter. His yes. Twitter handle's been uh, up on the screen all night. So, yeah, man, now comes the important time of the night. I mean, your interview part is important. <laughs> but uh, we're going to talk about the ministries that have been selected for Rap Fest 2014. We're really excited. It's going down on August 9th in the Boogie Down Bronx at Vidalia Park at East 180th Street and Daly Avenue. Well, y'all already know we have the storytellers are going to be uh, ministering there with a live band. The storytellers is myself, Brother E, Eric E, Lord's Ambassador. Uh, we also have Jason Mulero who will be helping us out with the background vocals. And John Lopez will be there as well sharing some storytellers' testimonies. And we have the live band, Ellie Suarez, and the rest of the guys over from Harvest Field Church. Incredible band, so you definitely want to come and check that out. Uh, we're looking forward to it. We're excited. Uh, it's the first time we get together and maybe seven years or maybe wow. more or more seven years or more that we don't rap together as a group so we're really excited about that all right here we go uh rap fest 2014 i'm excited too because 11 of the ministries rapping this year are first time rapping at rap fest they've never been at part of rap fest that's good so that's uh that's half at least 50 percent of the groups and, and that's what we try to do so first one up we have uh the 412 brothers which is nick crenshaw and his guys from texas They'll be rapping at Rap Fest 2014. Ali Rose is coming back. He was here last year uh, with with um, Bridge B. So Ali Rose will be ministering at Rap Fest. He's from Washington State. Angie Rose, we had Angie Rose on Rap Fest Radio a couple of weeks back. Uh, she's been on tour with He Sun Lee. She'll be ministering at Rap Fest. She's from New York, so we're excited to have her. Bridge B, of course, from Colorado. He'll be ministering here at Rap Fest. 2014 in August. Celis will be at Rap Fest. He's from Atlanta. Uh, Celis rapped at Rap Fest previously under the name of Man Praising Hard. And now he's coming in with the name of Celis. And he has some really good, really good music. Uh, a new style that's incredible. Saifa Aishas. I, I don't know if I say that right. I've never, <laughs> I've never spoken to him like to say, did I say your name right? I'll probably mess it up. But we'll just call him Cypher uh, from New Jersey. He's going to be ministering. This is his first time out here. Uh, Dean Will from In My City Records will be ministering. He's from Rochester. That'll be his first time out here as well. Uh, Brother Dave from Connecticut will be ministering out here. This is going to be his first time ministering at Rap Fest, so we're excited. Uh, he Sun Lee from In My City Records will be ministering at Rap Fest as well. Infinite Automatic, another first time rapper at Rap Fest. He's from here, from New York. Nice. K-Drama will be here. I already spoke to him. He was supposed to rap last year. His plane got delayed and got delayed and got delayed. We finished. We were breaking down the stage. He showed up. <laughs> so he missed the whole thing. But I already spoke to K-Drama. And yes, he's going to be out here for Rap Fest this good. year. Lord willing, everything is good with his flight. Red Dot from Maryland will be out here at Rap Fest uh, joining us once again. Architect from Florida will be out here, so we're, we're excited about that. Y'all know Architect. I mean, he's been throwing down some heavy stuff online. Swinda Example is going to be with us again, so we're excited about that. And the Saga, y'all y'all probably seen this battle rap video that's been going on out there uh, featuring the Saga. <laughs> he goes in. He goes in on the, on the battle rap stuff. He really loves the Lord, man, and, and his music is intense. His ministry is powerful, and we're excited. This is his first time ministering with us at Rap Fest. We have another live band coming from Delaware. It, they're called The Few. You guys probably remember the guy by the name of King Size. Uh, he ministered at Rap Fest many, many years ago, and he's coming back with a full live band. They're called The Few. Uh, they've done a couple of local events here. The Salem Coffee House is one of them. This is the anniversary coffee house and stuff, and people just loved his music loved his ministry the committee that reviewed his stuff loved it as well and because we have the storytellers live band already there it just made sense we were able to incorporate them because we already have instruments and stuff so the few will be ministering at rap fest with us this year tragic hero from new jersey many of you have been hearing of tragic hero he's featured on a lot of major uh production and albums that are out there right now so we're excited to have tragic hero this is also his first time ministering at rap fest 
whatever man whatever man whatever's gonna be here he's also from New York uh, he's gonna be hanging out with us at Rap Fest Righteous Knight from New Jersey as well will be ministering with us at Rap Fest uh, this is his first time actually ministering at Rap Fest his, his crew has been there but this, he's never been up on the stage to minister so he's excited about that Young Joshua is coming back to minister at Rap Fest uh, we had Young Joshua like maybe four years ago out of the park on Kelly Street and he ripped it people love him. His music is amazing. He's a great dude. So we're excited to have him. We added something else to the program as well where we had the DJs. Well, I'll mention the DJs, then I'll tell you what we added. The DJs for Rap Fest, we've been mentioning this all along. DJ Breakbeat Beat Lou. DJ Breakbeat Lou. The infamous or the famous <laughs> or the world known, the old school, the legendary <laughs> DJ Breakbeat Lou. He's gonna be hanging out with us all day at Rap Fest, spinning his 45s. If you're a DJ out there and you have the ultimate Breakbeats CDs, you can thank this man in person when you come to Rap Fest because it's he, it's him and his crew that put those CDs together for you. Uh, so come out and check out DJ Breakbeat Lou, if anything else. Uh, DJ Newman, of course, our resident DJ coordinator, he's going to be spinning for us. Uh, DJ Transformed is coming back, and he's going to be hanging out with us. Uh, props to DJ Transformed. DJ Newman will also have a couple of the DJs from Elements Church that, that are going to be helping out at Rap Fest. Um, Eddie and Roly, uh, I forgot their DJ name name sorry guys uh, I know DJ serve I forgot Eddie's name but they're gonna be helping out at rap fest as well so what we did this year uh, we we always have like when the when the rapper finishes rapping the DJ plays a beat or something and it's kind of like a downtime we're doing giveaways uh -huh. and stuff like that so we wanted to add something to the stage and I think um, Alice was the one that came up with the with the idea she was like oh we should have a uh, we should have maybe some break dancers or something I was like ah, awesome <laughs> I mean let, let's try it but who's out there I don't know who's out there break dancing and it just so happened that recently Indio uh, you guys probably remember he he they ministered at rap fest it was. Indio, uh, Bam, and another guy, I forget Bam his name, too? sorry. My friend. But, yeah, they, they ministered at Rap Fest before. So now Indio's back, and he has his crew, Dynamic Rockers. So he's gathered the crew, Dynamic Rockers. It's like seven guys all together, and they're going to be coming to Rap Fest, and they're going to be ministering in between songs, and probably even have their own set. So just come prepared to observe some exciting stuff at Rap Fest. And trust me, we're putting together a good concert. We're putting together a good event. We're putting together some Amen. great entertainment. We're putting together some quality show, but it's not for show. It's to minister. You know, we want you guys to invite people to a great concert. We want you to invite people to a great time of, of show, uh, mm -hmm. a great see some live bands and, mm -hmm. and that are really uh, powerful and exciting, but all with the purpose of leading them to Christ. Yes. So this is your opportunity to invite your co-workers, your friends, your family, your neighbors, anybody you know that doesn't know the Lord, invite them out to a day in the park, tell them to bring a beach chair, come and chill out. They can buy stuff from the vendors, uh, hang out, listen to some good music yeah. and get ministered to at the Definitely. same time. You know, so that's August 9th in the Bronx. All this information information will be up on our website later on tonight so just keep keep posted and again thank you to all the ministries that submitted for rap fest 2014 i appreciate you guys uh those people that confirmed thank you and those that we couldn't accept this year thank you as well and we hope to see you if you're available come out to rap fest come look for us by the stage we're always there we'll talk to everybody and hopefully maybe in the future you guys will be a part of our event as well definitely we have CDs to give away. Oh yeah, we have some CDs to give away actually. So let's let's do something. Uh, we tweet, have tweet. Yeah, we have two CDs to give away right now actually. So if let me just get my Twitter uh, open here. So when it happens, I am ready. If you are listening to us now and you would like a free CD, we have two CDs to give away. One is a new production by uh, Abdiele. Dunamis. Dunamis. Power of God. Yep. Define gravity, uh -huh. and this CD will be given to you free. All you have to do is tweet us at Rap Fest Radio. That's at Rap Fest Radio. Hashtag free CD. How's that? Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Hashtag free <laughs> CD. Uh, do that now before nine o'clock. So you got thirty minutes. Uh, hit us up if you want a free CD. The first two people to respond. First one will get this one. Second one will get the Alfarero mm -hmm. uh, project. 
sent to them courtesy of Abdiele. If you give him permission, Amen. maybe he'll open it up and sign it. I don't know. Definitely. Uh, we'll do it. So <laughs> we'll do whatever. But don't forget, just tweet us at Rapfest Radio and hashtag free CD, and you will get a free CD. Otherwise, I just have two free CDs in my house, <laughs> and I'm not complaining. Uh, we're excited, man. So what else is new with, with your with your ministry, and what what do you plan now that you're back in New York? You know, the New York, New Jersey area. What what are your well, plans? Um. I want to be back on track like the old times, you know, I want to start running the whole states like we used to, that's what we're trying, we need to start hitting, hitting the radios, and I'm doing a lot of promotion, you know, on Facebook and Twitter, stuff like that, so people know that deal is back in Jersey, so we, we want to come, all right, you know, we're going to be, we be in New York, um, praising the Lord, and keep working, you know, this, this is what, what we like. So. You're doing everything by yourself now, or you, you have a team working with no, you? No, uh, I'm solo, solo artist. <laughs> right now it's just you, solo artist, solo management, yeah, solo this, solo producers. <laughs> you, beats, and, and a pen, right? Just yeah, right, yeah right exactly. Now, so. No, but that's good. I mean, sometimes it's hard to find people to work with, too, yeah. you know, that, that have that same passion and mm -hmm. drive. You know, because it takes a lot of time. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. So once this project is, is out there, you know, are you looking at promoting this for like a year or are you gonna work on something new now that you're here? Well right now um this you know brand new I always keep this album like running like for one year to two year. Mm -hmm. Um I was talking to uh, one of the best filmmakers in Puerto Rico, Ivan Dos Filos to make um, oh, nice. a, a, um a new um video of the song Cristo Se Metió. It's a nice song. Yeah it's we're about, gonna play that song later. Yeah it's about a fight uh, in a ring with the devil and you know guys going their way and push me back and knock the devil out <laughs> and you know we're trying to, to make that idea into a video and yeah we want to keep working so Ivan does feel so you're working with some good guys yeah no the guy is one of the best filmmakers you know right now in the in, in Puerto Rico you know doing the the um, gospel videos real good let me ask you what's in in Puerto Rico like when people say Christian rap or Christian hip hop, like what the, what are the names that come to mind? Are they all Spanish guys or? or yeah, well, when you say you know, it, uh, you mean like your band um, gospel music is gonna be like Manny Montes, you know, Alex Surdo, you know, th th those names are always funky, Doctor P, those names. Yeah, they're gonna pop up. Those names are still like the top yeah, of the charts. Yeah, out there. yeah, always. So are they playing any English Christian rap music out there? At well, all? yeah, they they do it in the in the um, reggaeton shows. We we have some reggaeton shows in Redentor 104, and I, I was listening to that. They have a lot of English music playing. Uh, oh, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, that's cool. I remember I remember when I uh, did a radio interview years ago, and I was so surprised. I think it was actually in per with Peru and Temuco. No, in Chile, the Muco Chile. Mm -hmm. I did a uh, telephone interview with one of the guys out there. I, they had called me for the for the interview, and we're talking. And he said, "Boca Chica, I'm gonna put you on hold." I said, "All right, no problem." He puts me on hold, and I'm hearing those like a Mary Mary remix. I'm like, "No, this is Chile." <laughs> like, you know, it was like yeah. 2003, 2004, and in Chile they're rocking the Mary Mary remix. You know, because the English the English music is, is really rocking out there. Definitely. Um, because there's a there's a need. There's mm -hmm. a need. So, do you find your, your music? I know you mentioned you want to minister to the kids, into the teenagers, but where do the adults, the young adults, and adults fit in your? your they, they fit because my new album is not that much of a reggaeton. It has one, maybe two reggaeton in there. They have roots music, it's so like mm -hmm. Jamaican slow mm -hmm. music that they, right. they you know they like the um, older people like it a lot, and it goes from slow music to hip hop, you know, fast music, so I have for all genres in there. And is there any is there any song in here that's real personal to you, like the Sana La Señor? Is there any anything like that on this project that you think? Right now, I think the one that I say, um, that Cristo se metió, God's got in, something like mm -hmm. that, translate. Mm -hmm. That that's one of um, one of my favorite songs because. You know, sometimes we are in this in this fight, in the, you know, this fight with temptations, with so many things that hold you in the process, and you have to keep on. So yeah, I, I'm. Me reflejo con esa canción. No sé cómo decirlo. You relate to that. Ah, uh, yeah, I relate to that song. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, one, that's one of my favorite songs. That's that's good, man. You know, I always get excited to see when ministries, not so much that they're putting out new music, but that they're still doing the music. Yeah. You know, because many times there's there are ministries that. 
they come out hot. Let's say in 2002, they're like, oh, this is the greatest thing in the world. And then <laughs> they disappear. Yeah. They disappear. Mm -hmm. Then they try to come back, and it's like, like what have you been, but you've been nonstop. But you know what? Um, you, I know that you know that a few years ago, the reggaeton, the Christian reggaeton was a boom. Like, everybody won yeah, right. a, 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 a Christian rapper in the church. Like, it was a boom. And then right. suddenly, it went down. And this was because it was so many guys coming in rapping but it wasn't prepared and then that that those videos that they start making like with fashion cars like like people say like well, that doesn't look christian you know, those kind of stuff that start happening because they wasn't ready then you know why, like, why do you why do you think that happened like why do you think when you when you say they weren't ready like because explain because that. if you you know music and me and music is kind of emotional when you hear a hot beat, you're like, I got a rhythm that's, you understand? <laughs> right. So that happens a lot, you know. That, happen, that can happen to any guy, but any, any guy that has the talent to write. But it's not the same thing when you're a minister and then you're going through to make a, um, be a, a, rap, um, a minister of rap. You know, it's different. You know, you can write a positive song, but you cannot write a song that can make healing in the process when you sing, wow. you understand? So wow. that, that, that's, that, I think that's the main problem. That's the main issue. That's what happened. That's why the reggaeton went down so fast because it went so many people. Well, because Puerto Rico, there's a lot, a lot of rappers, Christian rappers, you know? Really? And, you know? Well, I mean, that just makes so much sense. I and mean, we speak about this all the time because it's true. There are a lot of great songs out there. Mm -hmm. But to find that song that, you know, like if, if my son is going through something and I want to say, you know, listen to this song. Hopefully mm -hmm. it'll help you. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to find something unless I want him to just party, throw your hands up. <laughs> you exactly. Know what I'm yeah. But, you know, and, and those songs are so important. Yeah. yeah, we do want good quality hip hop. We do want good quality reggaeton or whatever it is, merengue, salsa. But you got to say something. Yeah. You know, it's, not, it's not only do. You know, it's not, it's not only this because when, you, because when you do this, you're very thinking something else. But right. when you're like this, oh, this guy say something true. You know, right? It's different. It happens to me in the party song. When I came with that video, I don't know who was this lady. She called me and she leave me this voicemail, screaming and crying, hmm. saying, "Oh my God, Dale, this song, the party song, had touched me so bad. I've been my my my, my son has been throwing this, um, going through this and that." And she was like crying, saying how much that song touched her. And she she hmm. called her, her his son that was in Iraq and and sent the the, the, the song, link. yeah, the link because he, she was saying that he, he needs to he hear it, like he was apart from God, and she said. So and, and, and I feel good because right, that's, that's what I want. Right. That's what I want. I want, I want people to he listen to the to the message, you know. And that's the difference. Yeah, I, I, and that's so important. And I, you know, it's important to do good music. Mm -hmm. It is. It's important to be a very good lyricist. It's important to get on stage and have a great beat. You know, great performance Definitely. that the people will be like, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I'm feeling that. That's mm -hmm. hot. And like you said, and it's important to get those moments where people are like. Message. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Like, like, who told him about me? You know that the exactly. people are like this is direct to their heart, direct to their life. You know. So when you when you sit down, I'm I'm gonna assume like your mission is to help somebody. Yeah. When you sit down to write. Yeah, definitely. I to had to make an impact. You know, it's like there's a song in reggaeton song that I really like. The name is his name is Jesus. That's the name of the song. His name is Jesus. And sometimes when I'm singing in church. I see everybody like not moving, just listen. Sometimes I get worried, but when I say a few lyrics that are that I know they're gonna cast the, the people are like, oh my god! So no, I know that everybody's paying attention and they're waiting for that moment because you know mm. you always have that moment in the lyrics that you want like everybody to react, you know? Right, right. So that's that's very important. Yeah, no, that that's important, man, and and, and I appreciate the fact that you take the time to do that, and it's not just. This word rhymes with this word. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good, you know, uh, if I say this, I'll sound just like the last guy. You know, that everybody is. liked him. You know, yeah. let me try it. You know, sound like that. You know, and I, you don't want to be a copycat thing yeah. either. And and it's hard because you've been doing the ministry now for how many years? Like right now, the ministry is like 12, 12 years. Yeah. Twelve years. Oh no, no, no. My daughter's gonna be fifteen. I've been like seventeen years in the ministry. Seventeen. Yeah. Before years. they was born, I would have my first. I have five productions out, but my first album that was, you know, what you do uh, and, you know, around the corner in the house. Uh, uh, the name was Gap to Gap, and it was a long time ago, almost like eighteen years old. Almost wow. a back, yeah. Wow. 
So, you know, a lot has changed. Like you said before, you've matured. Oh, definitely. You, you've definitely. learned more. You know, you get you get closer to God. You read the scripture mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. And even if you read the same scripture, but now it means something different. Definitely. You know, so so that's important. So now I know I know you just got back to, to Jersey. So you, you haven't really finished settling into a, what church you're going to be ministering exactly. at or, or staying at. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm sure that God will guide you to some place, you know, and... You do graphic arts. Hey, I'm promoting for you. Yo, you need some work done, graphic graphic design. You yeah. know what? Buy the CD so when it comes, you can see how beautiful he does. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. good. That's good. Yeah. Buy the that CD. For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can see how good the, the artwork is. And he, you need beats. He does, he does beats as well. And, you know, some of the tracks here, which does it say which ones you produce or it doesn't say that here? No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. All right. That's, don't worry. He does some of the beats here. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe the ones you like are the ones he does. But, um, Definitely. Hold on. Let me see. I think we're getting a, a message here. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, Infinite Automatic is on, uh, out there listening. Don't tell me he's trying to get a free CD. <laughs> hey, Infinite Automatic. <laughs> Can I get that CD? Hey. Oh. Yo, you know what? He's the first one that, that tweeted. Definitely, so, brother. Yep, John, we got that CD for you. We're, we're going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. He's not going to sign it. I'm going to sign it for you. I'm going to send a little message in there for you. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll send that CD out to you, bro. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, there's still one more CD to go. So if you tweet us at Rapfest Radio, hashtag free CD, you get the Alfarero CD for you as well. Definitely. So what, like, I think every, every person that sits here in this seat that I talk to, their mind, they, they have a, a mission. Like this is this is what I want to accomplish. Maybe this year or by next year. Like what what's that for you? Well, I'm a person that I like to help. I love that word help. You know, and if the people that know me, if there's somebody right now looking at me and know me, I'm the kind of people that like to give cities away. Mm. Sometimes you know I'm just finish um, singing some songs and I'm out selling my albums and there's somebody that doesn't have the money. I was like. No, take it because right, it's, right. it's a blessing, you know. Right, I, right. I love to bless, and I, and I would like to to bring the point that I just can't reproduce a thousand cities and go things I never had to sell. Just give, oh, I would wow. love to give it away, you know, because I want the word of God to be spread out, hmm. and this is the easiest way, music. Hmm. So maybe I mean maybe somebody's watching here and, and they buy the CD, they mm-hmm. get it, they like the artwork, mm-hmm. and they listen to it and say, hey, I want to be a part of that. You know, somebody wants to maybe invest in that that oh, part definitely. of your ministry. Definitely. You know, you could reach out to Abdiel. Uh, do you have an email address? I have my, my email is abdielministry at yahoo.com. My name spelled A B D I E L, Abdiel Ministry. You can find me on Facebook, um, uh, Ministerio del Farero. And my phone number is 787 243 6771. You can reach me there. Yeah, but just hit them, hit them up, man. I mean, there's something that you want to do. Most importantly, if there is a, a group of youth, young adults, adults in your church that you think could benefit from this type of ministry, you know, hit them up. Invite him. Definitely. <laughs> you know, Definitely. invite him. He, he's willing to come out and minister to the people at your church, at your congregation. Uh, I can vouch for his ministry. I've known him for many years. The quality has always been really mm-hmm. good. The message has always been intact. Because that's one of the things that always scares me, especially the, <laughs> that, that always scares me about the ministries that back from the older days and they stick around for a while, then they come back mm-hmm. and they do something and almost like they have to prove something like uh-huh. you know I could get hardcore exactly. kid uh-huh. you know and blah 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 and they ain't saying nothing. nothing you know but but your message has always been intact and I appreciate that Amen. and I'm sure other people could could Glory to value God. and appreciate that so what I want to do we do have um we do have one more song to play of yours but before that what I usually like to do when people come here I like to rap something a cappella oh us. yeah <laughs> so Go ahead, man. Whatever, whatever you have. All right, share. Mi nombre es Abdiel en el milenio, un salmista. Mi talento no está en venta. Diablo, no me insista. Mi fe no mueve, no mueve, no mueve montaña. Yo soy realista, pero me trepo y laje calo como un alpinista. En este mundo del mal soy un protagonista. Y si me matan, moriré en la fe como Juan el Bautista, que lo decapitaron como un terrorista. Pero su alma se fue a los cielos invicta. Y a mí, que es lo más que quiero, me ha sido quitado. El 
pasado me ha golpeado, mis hijas no están a mi lado. Me siento como Job cuando en la fe fue probado. Me siento decepcionado y frustrado, pero hay una cosa que no me ha robado. Los demonios han tratado, pero no lo han logrado. En el vientre de mi madre me fue regalado. ¿Tú sabes de qué te hablo? De mi llamado. He sido apedreado, criticado y acusado. Así como Jesús me he sentido traicionado, pero no importa, pues yo seré recompensado. Y cuando suenen las trompetas, todo me será multiplicado. <risa> <laughs> nice. Yo, you got to get this project, man. You got to get this project. I had a chance to listen to a couple of the tracks you sent me, and I was, I was really impressed by it. Um, and I know that you you guys out there, you'll be blessed as well. Definitely. Um, pick it up. You know, support your local artists, your ministries. If it's not your style of music, you know what? Buy it. Give it to somebody you know might like it. Yeah. Or, or send them a link. You know, tell Definitely. them check it out. You know, go on iTunes and copy the link. Send it to your friends and let them know there's some Spanish mm -hmm. hip hop music out there that they can listen to. Get them away from that garbage they might be listening to. Exactly. Uh, you know, give them something new and, and, and beneficial for their life, for their lifestyle. Uh, what I want to do one more time before we get off the air here and listen to this last song, I'm going to read the name of the artist one more time that yeah. have been selected for Rap Fest 2014. 412 Brothers from Texas, Ali Rose from Washington State, Angie Rose from New York, Bridge B from Colorado, Celis from Atlanta, Cypher from New Jersey, D. Will from Rochester, Dave from Connecticut, He Sun Lee from New York, Infinite Automatic from New York, K Drama from Ohio, Red Dot from Maryland, Architect from Florida, Righteous Knight from New Jersey, Swinda Example from New Jersey, The Saga from New York, The Few from Delaware, Tragic Hero from New Jersey, whatever from New York. You gotta say it like that every time you say it. whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. From New York, Young Joshua from Philly, uh, the Breakdance Crew, Dynamic Rockers from New York will be there. DJ Breakbeat Lou from New York, DJ Newman from New York, DJ Transform from New York, and the Flyer by Eric Orr should be. Uh, we should have a, a something in the next couple of days from Eric. He's working on the flyer now. We're looking forward to it. That's August 9th in the Bronx at Vidalia Park, East 180th Street and Daly Avenue in the Boogie Down. It's a free event. Also, keep posted for details for the night before Rap Fest event that will be held at the Sanctuary Fellowship Church. Uh, we'll give you all those details as well. If you're planning on coming to New York for the Rap Fest event, we encourage you to come in early on Friday so you can join us Friday night at the night before Rap Fest celebration. We celebrate beforehand. You know, a lot of people like to after party we do a before party <laughs> so we have the party beforehand that's the friday night and then saturday we go out all day nice. and just do heavy ministry in the streets if you're willing to come out for a whole week you could join us the saturday before when we do our prayer walk in the neighborhood we go with a group of people and we pray throughout the whole neighborhood nice. we give our flyers we pray for people in the streets we have some incredible testimonies from that yep. it's always awesome it's probably without taking away credit from anybody. It's probably better than Rap Fest itself. The prayer <laughs> walk is awesome because you get time to just one-on-one -on -one ministry with people that they don't expect, you know? Good. So it's really cool. So we encourage you again, don't forget, August 9th in the Bronx from 12 noon to 9 p.m., 8 p.m. I forgot the, the exact cutoff time this year. Rap Fest 2014. This is our 21st year doing it in the Boogie Down Bronx, and we expect to see you there. And right now, we're going to leave you with one more song. Which song do we have that we're leaving with? I even forgot which song we Can have. Think Cristo se metió? Cristo se yeah. metió by Abdiele here. Don't forget, you can get that CD online at iTunes. iTunes. Just check them out. Abdiele, A B D I E L. Dunamis. Dunamis is the name of it. Cristo se metió here at Rapfest Radio, rapfestradio.com. You will learn us because we're out of control. Oh, next week, no show. It's a holiday. Everybody got a barbecue or something going <laughs> on, right? So we do as well. Dunamis. <laughs> Abdiele, Rapfest Radio, rapfestradio.com. Peace. God bless. Amen.
se dijo viene a defenderme Vamos a usar la selva a protegerme No soy el primero, segundo, tercero Muy de sencillo, carpintero, guerrero Y entregué mi ego entero uh. Por eso muero y vivo, empiezo en cero Fue la sangre del cordero La que me transfundieron oh, Al valero te debo la vida Eres el camino en la salida del mal No hay otro son, eres la única alternativa Viva, voy como grande divino la defensiva Como gato boca arriba Voy a triunfar, a seguir Aunque el diablo siga Amedrentándome, humillándome Acusándome, yo lo enfrentaré Recordándole su final Si conmigo tratas de inventar Ilustre, no me tu embuste Yo soy real Nací para triunfar en esta guerra espiritual Y el ring está yo va Hoy mi esquina va a ganar ¿Qué? Cristo se me dio Cristo se me dio Cristo se me dio entre la pelea del diablo y yo Cristo se metió y me echó pa' atrás En el medio se cuadró y al diablo no lo dio Cristo se metió, Cristo se metió Cristo se metió entre la pelea del diablo y yo Cristo se metió y me echó pa' atrás En el medio se cuadró y al diablo no lo dio Conmí donde quiera que voy, solo nada, yo nunca estoy salmista, ministro de rap, que se soy, Abdi L, lírica del cielo para ustedes desde el 1999, nene, aquí estoy, en el nombre de Cristo voy, a mis enemigos comeré como pan hoy, en la guerra estoy, y no me quito el corazón, doy, ando como un escuadrón de ángeles en el convoy, nada que temer no voy a oír, si quieren que pare voy a seguir, no voy a enganchar los guantes después que Llegué aquí mi pana, ya se me pueden ver la cana, la experiencia gana y voy a dar las vacaciones la campana. En un viaje sin escala, one way a la ciudad dorada. Yo sé que el diablo se enfada porque mi Dios siempre gana. Trampo now, we have never touched the ground. He's the king of kings and he owns the crown. Come on, Cristo se me dio, Cristo se me dio, Cristo se me dio entre la pelea del diablo y yo. Cristo se me dio y me echó pa' atrás. En el medio se cuadró y al diablo no lo dio Cristo se metió, Cristo se metió Cristo se metió entre la pelea del diablo y yo Cristo se metió y me echó pa' atrás En el medio se cuadró y al diablo no lo dio Cristo se metió